Alrighty, today we're going to go along Kuliman Scenic Drive. There's the ocean, Byron Bears down there somewhere. The highway runs parallel to the ocean, north south. And there's the hinterland behind that giant bloody ute. Let's just go over there and get a better view. And there's the hinterland, and that's Kuliman Scenic Drive. It winds its way through it. It is fairly pretty. At the other end it turns into something else, but we'll show you that at the end of the video. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head down there. Last time I tried to do it, I got distracted about a quarter of the way along and went down Possum Chute Road, went exploring down there. We'll see if we can do the whole length of it this time. Let's go, guys. scenic as you can see. Some of the people in these houses would have wonderful views. Yeah, that, that's a view isn't it? That's pretty bloody good. Nice. Oh mountains. Gotta love mountains. So yeah this winds its way up and uh, goes through Mullumbimby continues out the other side. There is a nice lookout part we are along the way which I will we'll stop and check out. It might be full of people. Last time I was there it was full of people bloody camping there which they shouldn't have been. Because there's no toilet facilities or anything so they were just basically spoiling the lookout for everybody else. Nice. Anyway we'll see who's there today. Yeah, this is where I got distracted last time, Possum Shoot Road, I went down there. This time we'll go straight on. Cafe ahead, really? That's new. Always interested in a cafe. A few roads I haven't explored off this as well. Coffee, 100 metres, must be in the hall maybe. The old hall, is it? It is indeed. There's a coffee cart, not open at the moment. This is the old Curabell Hall. I've been to a few gigs here. Oh, beautiful. Let's keep going. You gotta make a turn here. You miss this turn, you end up in federal wondering what happened. Been there, done that, as you can guess. Let's check out this lookout. Scarabellotti's lookout. Uh, there's somebody in a camper van there. That was Scarabelli's lookout. Let's continue along Cullivan Scenic Drive. So, uh, 
Well, not a great view today. There's a lot of smoke haze in here. It's cane burning season at the moment, so I, I imagine that's where the smoke's coming from. Fucking move over, you dickhead. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> anyway. I remember this spot. Wifey took a picture of me on one of my first ever rides. Just here. So yeah, I haven't really done the whole of this road. Since that time I did it with Wifey. You might see why at the other end. Uh, it turns into a narrow little twisty road going down the mountain here. There are plenty of views off to the right between the trees, but uh, I'll be concentrating on the road mostly. As you do. Come into Mullumbimby. What's in to say, look out there? No, it didn't. I said aged care facility, it's probably where I need to go if my eyesight's that bad. Must be nosy and go up here anyway. Reservoir Road, eh? Reservoir Road. Let's see if there's a reservoir. There's a big hill. Well, that's a tank. I can tell the difference. But uh, hmm. oh, does it just stop there? little tank. Some tree roots. And I think that's somebody's place there, so... Yeah, I can see some buildings. Alright. That's a stinging tree. Jesus. Right, run away. The horrific things stinging trees. A little bit of off roading to keep my hand in at least 20 meters. All right, down the big hill.
Alright, we'll uh, head on along Kilburn Scenic Drive, we're back on it again. National speed limit, which is quite funny when you see how the road condition changes. But, um, so far so good. We did this in our L's and we were horrified and we had people run us off the road because, you know, we were being careful being on our L's. We had all sorts of shit go on. Never came back. I think the road surface so far has improved from then because it was it was horrible. It actually has improved a lot. I think it was just all broken up the surface and I mean, it's still a bit bumpy but yeah, it's better than it was. Wonderful windy bit of road. And yeah, so far I misjudged it based on a ride some uh, ooh, nine years ago. I like this driver, they're staying in their lane. I don't care if they're slowing me down a bit. They're not driving like it again. But this road certainly seems better than it was, and it's quite enjoyable. This is really the end of it. Uh, I'm curious about what's up here now. Oh, would you look at that? It's the ocean. So, I brought some lunch with me. I'm starting to get a bit peckish. I've already made myself a dog and gotten coffee before I started filming. I think I could go another coffee to have with my lunch. So uh, there's the Yum Yum Tree Cafe down here, which I really do like. Uh, I'll find somewhere nice, possibly on the river, to have said coffee and my lunch. Coffee acquired. Go and see if I can find somewhere to sit and have it. Wow. It's a bit packed here. Hmm. Not too packed in here. Right. Check the other side out. Let's try it here. Just uh, across the Brunswick River from Brunswick's Heads, which is always packed Brunswick Heads, always. But sometimes this little bit over here can be, well at least have a summer to sit. 
I don't know, maybe I'll get there and there'll be a thousand people. Quite a few. This looks like my spotty. Cute spot and a little brush turkey. Wants to see if I've got it dropped any food, I suppose. I don't do that though. But yeah, this is where I've stopped. Lovely little park by the Brunswick River. Lots of people out there having fun like this guy. Yeah. More vehicles here than people really. Didn't really bump into many people. There's a young rider of this uh, CBR 600, I think it is, yeah, 600F. Stopped and talked to me about how I go on the dirt, but if you got it here or that, he should go alright too. Time to head off. Right, so that was a nice little day of exploring. Did the Cullivan Scenic Drive and a little bit of poking my nose down right here around the coast. Just gonna hit the highway now, head home. So uh, thanks for watching guys, as always. Really appreciate it, appreciate your comments, your views, all of that. Hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. In the meantime, be safe and be happy. Cheers guys.